Hey there, welcome to the studio. I'm Guru Catherine, and today we're going to talk about AI being in everything. <laughs> like it's chocolate sprinkles on a donut right now. And I know I really started noticing this. Holy cow, just in the last week or two, because AI is the next big thing. So then every tech company out there from your social media platforms to um Oh, especially the companies who specialize in, um, I don't want to name anybody in particular, but the companies that help people post automatically to social media, social media management tools, um, as well as just about any other software service out there. Everybody now feels like they've got to be integrated with ChatGPT or one of the other I don't know, a couple hundred AI tools that are out there now these days because they think, oh, this is the hot thing. This is what everybody wants. We've got to have it. And then when you go to their website, you see, you know, these little flashy little logos that say, now with AI, <laughs> like it's chocolate sprinkles. I'm like, but now with AI doing what? What? What does that mean? You don't even know what that means. You just plastered it on your web page now with AI. <laughs> And maybe there is IA AI in it, but here's the problem, people. Now with AI doing what? And just because AI can do something doesn't mean it's going to do it well. And I want you to just sit with that for a minute. Just because AI can do a task does not mean it's going to do it well. And so this, this exuberance for putting AI in everything, I think we need to be more discerning. I think we need to step back a little bit and go, hey, we want to get on the AI bandwagon. Okay, that's cool. But what are we going to use it for? Uh, now, if you're a business who's integrating AI, I hope your consultants have helped you well on this. If not, come talk to me. Because here's the problem. If you integrate AI, any old AI, well, chat GPT, why? Because that's the one everybody wants. Okay, fine, integrate that one. But you need to understand what it's good at and what it's not good at. Because if you integrate any tool, I don't care if it's AI or not, you integrate a thing into your offering and that thing doesn't perform or that thing actually gives you false results or bad or detrimental results are people going to love it then i don't think so so you need to be really careful which ai tools you're integrating and what you're integrating them for because each is specialized to do certain things. Like ChatGPT is really quite good at producing fiction. So if you need to produce fiction, use that. But you want to be very, very careful. And so I think it's at the same time why I think it's hilarious that everybody's just jumping on the ba bandwagon. Integrate chat GPT for what? I don't care. Just integrate it and then put it on the front of the web page that now with AI, <laughs> all your favorite donuts, now with chocolate sprinkles. And I think it's hilarious. And at the same time, I'm a little concerned. So as soon as I stopped laughing, I really thought about it and went, oh my God, all of these businesses are going to integrate AI and it can ruin them if they don't do it right, if they're not discerning. And everybody jumped on this so fast that that tells me they weren't being well thought out about it. And that's my concern right now. There's a lot of really cool AI tools out there. There really are. Take your time. Choose which one you want to integrate. Understand the underlying technology to a certain level. It doesn't mean you have to, you know, understand everything about AI. But there's a lot of different technologies that could be the foundation of that AI that you think you love. Make sure 
the technological foundation of that is appropriate for what you're doing. Make sure that that AI tool is good at what it does. <laughs> you know, artificial intelligence, they're trying to make it like a human. Are humans good at everything? No. In fact, some of them are quite awful at things. So be discerning. Take your time. Integrate correctly. And, and understand what it is that you're bringing into your system. Um, do you have a security risk by bringing this into your system? Probably not at this stage, but possibly so at a later stage. So you want to keep up with what, with what it is. So just because it's the hot thing right now doesn't mean you shouldn't take a month or two or three to, you know, do things right and integrate things well. That's my point. <laughs> so now from the consumer side of things, we're done talking to the businesses now. Let's talk to the users. Let's talk to the individuals, right, who have the real power. When you approach a service, I don't care what it is. And they go, now with AI. And you go, oh, cool. That must therefore mean it's more awesome and better. Not necessarily. It actually could mean that it's worse. So, uh, for example, ChatGPT is known to just make up facts if it doesn't have any good ones because it was originally designed uh, to produce fiction. There was a really cool article from 2019 where they said, well, we're not quite ready, but it's going to be really great for producing fiction like movies and novels and stories and things like that. And it's gotten good at a few other things, too. Its code review could be, could be a lot better but it's getting there. Um, so point being, if you take everything that an AI produces and you assume that it must be true because AI is technology and, and, and AI is science and everything science does is true, no. Science is the act of questioning and studying and experimenting and trying. That's what science is trying to find the truth. It is the methodology and the act of attempting to, tr to find the truth. Technology is just the things we produce along the way in the science of trying to find the truth. We question and we try and we experiment and we create a thing. And that thing helps us better understand. So the creation of AI and the use of AI is helping us better understand ourselves. This is an artificial intelligence. What is intelligence? What is it to think? What is it that's going on in our minds? And in the worst case scenarios, these AIs are trained on stuff they got off the internet. <laughs> Not what I would call the highest quality data set out there by a long shot. So you do have to be very, very careful. How is this AI trained? Um, you don't have to be an expert in it, but you just ask a few questions, right? Test it out a little bit. Don't just believe everything that it tells you. Question what it produces, right? Because it's basically, because it's most of them are trained on data from the internet. Yikes. It's going to behave like the average person on the internet. Is that someone you want to trust? Think about that. So AI can be a great tool. Um, and I just think it's funny, <laughs> just to recap, I think it's hilarious. Everybody's just kind of plastering it all over everything. <laughs> like, you know, like it's taurine, like it's the greatest new longevity supplement or, or it's the greatest new thing and everybody wants it. So yeah, we got that too. Yeah, now with AI, um, without really getting into the details of what AI was it doing? Is it doing it well? Is it, is it, is it accurate? Is it good? I don't know. Is it, is it going to give me bad information and now I'm going to have a problem? We need to ask these questions. So be discerning. Businesses, be discerning. People, be discerning. <laughs> Look at it more deeply, ask the questions, and meanwhile sit back and laugh a little bit about how this phenomenon is going through our society.
<laughs> and everybody gets all excited about it and everybody's got to have some of that. Um, and, uh, and next time you see this now with AI plastered on somebody's website, just giggle, just giggle at it. Stay discerning, people. If you have thoughts or questions or ideas, you can contact me directly at my website, katherinecolleen.com, um, or on any of the various platforms that I want. So let me know what you're thinking about this, what you're observing, and we'll talk to you soon.